Okay, today we're going to talk about how to use Google Sites as your classroom website. Now, one of the things is how you use it is really much, really up to you. What I think people need to understand is that it's probably, if you are using Google Apps, the most flexible tool and most simple tool out there that is robust, which means it has a lot of strength in allowing you to do some advanced stuff with uh, uh, video, audio, uh, integrating Google Apps, integrating your calendar, and a bunch of other features that uh, are, are built in. So we're going to go in and look at how you set up your site and sort of start with just the basics for today, for this lesson, and we'll move on and show some more advanced features as we uh, set up new videos. So as usual, you'll log into your Google Apps account, and as you can see, I'm logged in. And we'll click on the launch pad and go to Google Sites. Obviously, if you are in a Google Apps account for education or for business, you'll be able to uh, just see this as one of the core apps. So you click on it. And we're going to create. Now, depending on your organization, you may see different templates come up or you may see nothing. Um, some of the templates I'll tell you I find are pretty advanced if you've never touched it and I would recommend uh, just starting off from scratch and having obviously somebody around who can possibly help you is a good idea or create one of the uh, create two sites it, you can have as many as you want really um, mind you they do show up in the Google Apps organization so students may look for them uh, there's ways to disable that as well uh, so today I'm going to just name this test site six and i'm going to use this template and i could change the theme if i wanted to uh, but i'm not i'm going to just leave it at what as what it is and i'm going to actually this name needs to change but this is a basic teacher uh website so click create and uh, let's see here is it giving me an error the location is already used by another site all right let's go test seven Create site. And I am using a template right now. So this template is what I'm going to ask uh, the students in my class to use to create their course website. And it's a pretty good one. Um, we'll look at the core components and how you can do some basic editing. So these are the I created one, basically a welcome message. Now, most teachers teach several classes. So as you can see, I built in, well, just two, and uh, you could add a third or a fourth underneath uh, the main tree. So you need to understand there's an organization in a website where this is the main site and this is underneath it. So everybody that shows up your website, this is the first page that we'll see. Now, I made this a generic welcome because Probably, uh, if you have several classes, you want your students to go to, you don't want to create three Google Sites. Now you could, but that's a lot of extra work, and I don't recommend that. Um, and you'll see if we click on this one, it will open the other page. And I got this from one of my colleagues, and he did a great job uh, setting up a basic website that sends you to the curriculum documents for our ministry. And, uh, you know, this basically will take you there, and you can paste it, copy and paste what you need, and bring it back into this document. And there's a calendar built in, uh, which I strongly recommend putting a calendar on your website. All right. So I'm just going to quickly show uh, a few things that I built into this uh, website. One is recent announcements as well, and a calendar. And if you notice, the announcements also show up here. But they'll show, this, this, these announcements are the exact same ones as these that I built in. So, and I also organize a, and I'll talk about what this is, unit one is where I put my content. So how do I edit this page? Let's assume you get to this page and you're not happy with it. Well, there's two buttons at the top. One is edit this page, and this one is create a completely new page. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna talk about editing the page. So let's click edit the page. And basically, anything you want to change, you can change. So this is the title. 
and I'm going to call, and this is what will show up over here in the tree. So I'm going to call this my, uh, I don't know, let's use this course code for university, 3119 course, okay? And in this case, this is a link for Ministry of Ontario documents. So I would click on that if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that. Now, I've already embedded my calendar. Now, in your case, you don't want my calendar. You want your calendar. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and click X. And then you need to realize, you see where my cursor is? It's there. Now it's there. Wherever my cursor is, when I insert something, that's where that stuff will show up. So I want it up here. I want a few spaces. So this uses uh, basically what you see is what you get. Editing, just fantastic for people who are non-techies. So let's go get your own calendar. And where will you do that? Insert calendar. Any calendar you've created in your Google Apps account will be available. Click select. And you can customize the size. I encourage you not to make it too large. If you prefer the weekly view or the agenda view, this is where you would change that. And uh, you can have the option so students can see all the tabs. And, uh, and you save it. All right. Scroll down. What else? Well, you obviously don't want this content, so you would probably delete that. What I wrote here is, um, well, I wrote the change calendar. The one I want to talk about was this one. Uh, click on attachments to upload your course outline. I strongly recommend that you integrate Google Drive files instead of Word files or any other document uh, processing software because uh, when you edit your documents from year to year, if you've embedded them once in your Google site, all you have to do is embed the, the doc and it'll automatically change itself in its Google site. Let me give you an example here. I'm going to insert. Uh, my course outline. So I'm going to click insert drive doc. Notice all the things you build in Google Docs are available here. So docs, drawings, folders, presentations, spreadsheets, video. So I want a doc. So I'm going to go get it. Now this is the only part of the uh, that I find sometimes a little bit confusing when you're trying to find a document. Uh, there's two views just like there is in Google Drive. The file view or the uh, picture view if you want uh, and I'm going to just scroll down and notice if you have any folders they don't show up uh, which is kind of a little bit frustrating so if there you have something in a folder you basically have to um, edit it and what it, it this is the default here how will it show up it depends on how you have it set up but the way I have it set up is the last thing I modified is a thing that goes to the top, which makes sense because if you change your course outline, it'll probably show up at the top. Or actually, I'm gonna just pick any document here. Um, here you go, boom, okay? Now this document is there. Now I'm gonna save this page, I'm done. I'm gonna assume that this is how I want this. And you see, I could go back and change the size of my calendar, it's a little bit too large. And I could do the same thing over here and say that that's not large enough for my students. One thing I really love is whenever you insert a Google Doc, at the bottom is also the file. So students can go to this and click on it and import it into their drive. Now, they won't be able to edit this document, but the students can do is make a copy. Now, I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, and basically, I am going to find this document called your blog. So I'm in my Google Drive right now. And this is where uh, Sites is really beats any other uh, website tool, is the ability to uh, just edit your files and automatically, um, here you go, this is the document I was looking for that I already, in so if I type anything in here, all right, anything, um, I go to my, back to my website, click refresh, and there's the change immediately. That is a huge time saver for teachers when you're changing from semester to semester. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you.